I return to our ruined homeworld of Ire. The desiccated remains of the Overmind were still there. Only by making contact with the gargantuan tendrils could I learn its secrets. I sense pain, surprise, death, and joy. Satisfaction in a plan set in motion long ago. Fear of the future. An end. I must go to the Overmind Cortex to understand. Greetings, brother. Tacitar. I have come to tell you of this creature's courage. Courage? It was an abomination. It created a chance, a hope of salvation. The Queen of Blades. The Overmind saw a vision. The end of all things. And now, you must see it too. Welcome back. We are going to be heading into the final Zeratol mission. Now, friend Raynor, you must see the Overmind's vision of the future. The end of my people, and of all things. This is our fate, should Kerrigan die. Here we go. So, the plan on this one is to take the gold base, uh, which I'll show you when we get into the mission. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is just to make the most and mine it as quickly as possible. It can be a bit, like, I've heard different things about it. Some people say it's a trap. I found whenever I've played this mission, especially on Brutal, you really need the resource boost. The rest of it's going to come down to execution, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> I don't think I want to see any vision of the Overminds. But if Kerrigan's involved, I need to know. On a distant shadowed world, the Protoss will make their final stand. Their heroes will gather, their forces will be marshaled, and they will die bravely. But still, they will die. And my Zerg will be slaves to the hybrid. All will bow before the power of the Fallen. Hey, hey, so just as a heads up, I had to restart this mission a bunch because uh, number one, I was playing with the grace of a drunk donkey, and number two, I primarily just didn't build enough Dark Templar my first few attempts at the mission. Uh, so there is going to be a slightly weird cut just after the intro. Practicing the art of radical honesty, uh, I wanted to share that with you. So no, this is not my first crack of a whip. It took me a few goes practicing to get this one right, but it also wasn't it wasn't interesting to watch me suffer with this mission. I think so. Yeah, here's a relatively clean run uh, in utter darkness. Protoss brethren, heed me. The last twilight has fallen. The galaxy burns around us. The Terrans have been consumed. We are all that stands against the Shadow. But if we are to meet our end this day, then we will do so as one! Antaro Tassadar! Okay, first thing we're gonna do, get you guys building probes. We are going to have you build us a Dark Shrine and also a Robo Bay. And we're also going to build a Forge, and then you are going to go over there. You're going to transform into Gates. You're going to build that. Um, you are going to be Research Group. Great one, the Vault is prepared. Guard us while we preserve our knowledge for those that may fall. They must not make the mistakes we did. There we go. 
Uh, let's keep probes in production. Let's have you build a nexus here and also build a couple of pylons for us. Uh, when can we build Colossi? Not yet. You gonna go and stand there? I have rallied the last of our great fleet. Your timing is impeccable, Admiral Arun. When the enemy takes to the air, we will need your support. There we go. So we've got some phoenixes. These are going to be really useful for later, which we will see. Uh, so we're going to keep a bunch of those on the go. The Zerg performed their function as I planned. My hybrid are proof of this. Now, the last of the Protoss will fulfill their function in death. And we're going to get some Dark Templar as well. So you guys are going to go and stand down here, and we're going to make use of these High Templar as well. So you guys are going to attack there. And then let's throw some storms down. Good. Oh, we've got our Nexus going as well. And then you guys are going to move over here. Oh, we lost a High Templar. That's unfortunate. Zerg Gonna get a couple of gateways as well. Or our will fall. These guys are gonna need to come down here. Let's get another Phoenix. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tempt these guys over here. Get you guys over there. Let's keep some Phoenixes in production. Uh, Zealots, you just pull back a second. Absolutely do not want to fight the Omegalisk. Uh, can we get another gateway? And what we also want to do is get our things rallying down here. Let's get another cannon there. Let's also get our assimilators down. You guys go in this control group. Okay, we've got plenty of phoenixes. We're going to be facing there in a second. And I actually wouldn't mind getting a bunch of pylons set up because we're going to use cannons in a minute. Uh, let's get you guys in a control group as well. You guys down there. Have we actually, we still got a high Templar. That's interesting. Can we get the, oh, no, hang on. Don't want to storm my own guys, even though I just did. Uh, Colossi, let's also get some more cannons down here. How are we doing upgrade-wise? Let's get some of those upgrades on the go. Let's build a pylon there to ready ourselves. Um, what gate? Okay. You address me, not I. And let's get some more gas going because that's going to be the next thing we want cool we can get a bunch more dark templar i think we're looking at the front so you guys are actually all gonna just go down here the pro production up and that's actually working really nicely let them just take the time. We'll lift the big ones. Can we keep production going there? Right. What I want is to keep an eye on this part to make sure we've not got. Let's keep Templar production. I'm detecting a large amount of Zerg activity in their hive clusters. Prepare for an assault. We definitely need to move to intercept that. You go and mine there, you go and mine there. Uh, can you guys attract some attention over here? I actually want you just to hold position. You guys hold position here.
Oh, hang on. Not really understanding the whole position thing, are you? Uh, where is the observer in this group? Okay, let's go down here. Let's get these down here. How are we doing over here? Are we holding? You guys go down here. You guys take these out. Yeah, Vespine gas is kind of a limiting factor here. Right. Let's move these guys back. Okay. Let's start building some cannons. And let's get some more of these guys in. I'm actually going to save here because it seems like we're at a reasonably stable point. Let's keep our upgrades going. We definitely want that upgrade. We've still got a high Templar. Okay, you guys take those out and come back. Ooh, can you just lift those guys a second? Actually, don't lift that one. Disengage Concentrate all batteries on the What we want to do now is get some more star ports. You are gonna go in control group one. I'm gonna do a quick save. You gonna hold there. Oh, finish off that, please. And then you guys are going to be control group seven, and we're going to get start pumping void rays. How are we doing? We are good there. What we also need to do, control group three, control group three, you start building us plenty of cannons. Put a cannon, put a pile on there. Going to try and build them in clusters. We've got uh, some guys there. Let's actually get some more. Let's make use of these storms. Can you... Can you... Go over here and just storm? Thank you. Storm again. Can you pick those up, please? Let's move these forces down here. Keep picking up. Let's get a few more phoenixes in. Can we also get some guys over here? Good, we're nearly mined out here. So we're going to leave the cannons here just to, as a distraction. Oh, we definitely want the gas there. How are we doing over there? These guys can hold here. You guys pull back here. You can be control group one, two. Control group one, two. Uh, you can be control group three. Let's get any other probes. Right. We've still got the high Templar. Pull the Phoenixes back. I wouldn't mind a couple more Phoenixes. Just lift those guys. Okay, pull over here, lift the hybrid. Uh, how are we doing for upgrades? Let's keep getting upgrades. Not quite yet. Can you? Ah, uh, no need to. I am going to get a couple more phoenixes. How are we doing over here? Let's get you in the control group too. Just more cannons. Uh, I don't like the placement better, but that will do. Just more clusters of cannons. And what we're actually going to start doing here as well is we're going to start rebuilding some infrastructure. Ooh. Let's make sure you're all rallying properly. Because uh, we're nearly out here. We've got... I'm going to do a quick save. 
you guys just hold on there. Uh, let's get some more Dark Templar too. And cannons. And what we're also going to do is build a bunch of cannons around here. Spend your minerals if you've got them. This bit should be fun. Uh, so basically the way I've heard it described is you can get away with what's referred to as an autosis pylon, which is one pylon uh, dealing with a bunch of structures because they don't actually prioritize the um, pylon as a threat. So they won't attack it. They won't snipe your pylons, unlike we can do. Well, I say we can do. The AI can theoretically do it. It just never does. This Ooh. is the hour of truth. No Carriers. Let the enemy know the wrath of Iyer's champions. You can be a control group there. Executor Salendus, unleash the full power of your forces. There may be no tomorrow. Now, the trick every time we build a carrier... Right, you... I don't want you guys in the control group anyone, anymore. I don't want you in the control group. I just want air to be control grouped. And our Colossi can just dance around there. Uh, let's get more carriers. And do we seed this base now? Yeah, we let it go. Oh, poor Dark Templar. Uh, carriers. Now, the trick with carriers is going to be making sure we uh, remember to autocast their construction. Uh, there we go. Let's keep you control group one. You guys stand back here. You go here. And then we're ready to pick up any hybrid we need to. Uh, carriers. Let's see if we can get another carrier. I'm actually going to start rallying there. Ooh, we are now at full supply. So let's, let's chuck a... Um, void Ray is the term. There we go. Uh, so we can now also build some more voids. Probably could have stuck a carrier in there. We're going to do a quick save. Uh, let's get those auto casting. Let's pick up these guys and let's focus for hydralisks. And oh, you need to be picked up. Doing fine over there. Oh, let's get the brood lords. Uh, let's pick up these guys. How are we doing for upgrades? Do we we'll get ground armor anyway, we may as well. And we are very much transitioning to Sky Toss. Pick up these guys. Pick up the back ground ones. Can we get more carriers? There we go. Let's keep produ production there. Uh, there we go. Let's get these guys back here. And where are our probe groups? So we're going to get a bunch more cannons up here as well. How are we doing for phoenixes? I wouldn't mind another phoenix or two. Just because the lift is really useful. Um, we've got five minutes left to defend this, so we're not going to seed the ground yet. You guys, I think, move to here. Can you actually get out? Just keep mineral dumping into cannons. Okay, we can afford to get a Void Ravo. Uh, you guys control group two, you control group one. Uh, Colossi, fine there. How are we doing for upgrade? Uh, let's just chuck shield upgrades in as well, because we can't spend that money on anything else, really. Let's move over here. Oh. 
so keep those guys there. That's freeing up some supply for carriers. At least I would think it is. Pick him up. Uh, let's keep you auto casting. It's so nice to be able to auto cast the production of interceptors. Uh, can we build? Oh. Let's take out the hydras. Uh, let's get a few more cannons down here. I'm okay with losing probes if anything I want to because then I can get more voids and carriers. Keep the uh, phoenixes back so they can swoop in and pick stuff up. Oh, hello. Let's go and pick these guys up if we can. Uh, carriers. And also pick these guys up. We've got two minutes left on this. That'll be a good point to do a good save. A good save, like a, a uh, not a quick save, a full save, a hard save or whatever. Let's get some more cannons down here. Let's pick these up. Got some more carriers. Let's keep auto casting. It feels weird to describe uh, building as auto casting, but you will presumably by this point know what I mean. I'm also going to start putting some pylons down to future proof uh, because we are going to start losing low ground pylons and that just means we're going to start. Right, I think we might be able to. Right, okay, I'm going to call this high ground and you can see from the previous ones i have also got a save where i've just beaten it on brutal um i don't know why i just felt like i didn't want to lose that save um and clearly i was just paranoid i would never be able to do it again on camera uh and to be fair i've not done it yet <laughs> uh, but yeah i'm i'm not i'm not great at defense missions at the best of times uh, so I, like I said, I had to do a bit of a bit of practice on this one. Have you? Yeah, they're all control grouped up. Got a carrier. Brilliant. Defended the archive. Let's get you guys back, and you mortals can hold the ramp here. Uh, let's just bring the rest of our army. So Zeratul. Uh, who else could be? Have we got any else on else on the ground? We haven't. Which is good because it means we successfully sort of transitioned to Skytos. Uh, now we just need to be really diligent about picking up the hybrid and focus firing the hybrid. And meanwhile, you get these guys. I don't think I wanted to pick up the Infester, but whatever. Uh, cool. How are we doing? Yeah, keep those auto casting. We're probably going to stop rebuilding Phoenix before too long. Uh, is there any other upgrade that's worth getting? Let's just get shields. It's not necessarily a good upgrade, but I mean, you know, got to spend, it, spend this cash on something. Uh, focus for muters. Oh, focus that guy. Uh, where's our cannon builders? Let's get some more cannons down. Rip Zeratul. Peace out. Uh, that must be all of our... Uh, that must be a bunch of our... Uh, oh, what are they called? Leggy boys. Colossi. There we go. Long zealots. Yeah, we've got uh, six long zealots. Oh, you guys all hold that position there. Let's keep... Uh, our build queue is full there. I could build another starport and hope to squeeze one out, but I think we're going to start getting really resource starved, so I don't think I can support a fifth starport. And let's get you guys all rallying there. I don't want to... Theoretically, let's get that rallying there, but I'm going to 
not be building any ground units anymore. Well, they've done their job. Let's focus the Corruptors. Let's pull back. Make use of the fact that those can't get shot. Right, okay. Uh, we need pylons. Uh, let's build, let's pick that guy up. Let's build some more pylons so we can be, we can theoretically max out again. Oh, let's keep the autocast on. That's good. Uh, can you... Is there anything to Vortex? Oh. Well, that was an unfortunate place for that guy to land. Uh, can you... Just... Go in the vortex, please. Let's pick those up. These are the most dangerous ones, the hybrid destroyers. Okay. I'm actually quite happy with how this is going to work out because, uh, you know, I could obviously get much more, but this is very close to being a victory. So that will do me there. Let's just put those in a vortex. Uh, because, yeah, there we go. There we go. A bit sloppy there at the end, but to be honest, it means the mission's not going to go on for much longer, which is its own advantage. So let's just clear up these guys. And then let's just attack into the enemy base. Ah, so I believe that's probably what he says once you've, uh, yeah. There's just too many of them. Once you've lost all your buildings, he probably, I believe he says that. I I'm not going to use any abilities. Hands off keyboard. Let's just let this finish. I'm not going to kill my own people, but uh, yeah, there we go. Wait, are they still? <laughs> that's actually quite funny. Hang on, hang on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. Unfortunately, they cannot shoot up, uh, so... They cannot leap up and chew on large starships, so, uh, yeah. Advantages of Skytoss. Okay, I, I actually didn't think I would survive that. I'm just gonna... Let's, let's all move as one big unit. Probably can't build many more interceptors for long. There we go. Somehow I'd just forgotten where the A key was, so I was uh, holding shift to attack move. Well, now, yeah, let's just be rude at this point. Bye. Oh, let's take that out. I... Okay, this is not how I expected the end of this mission to be going. <laughs> Honestly, there we go. Now, now we're going to get absolutely steamrolled. As the dark voice intended. Kerrigan. How could we have known? 
Oh, it was a prophecy, mate. You should have been listening. <laughs> Still, still in there. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna keep going out of pride. Um, I, uh, there we go. <laughs> please, please shoot me in the face. Finish it. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's kind of wild. What we got is, we're getting Protoss research from a alternate vision projection of the Overmind, which we're receiving, which was di beamed directly into the brain of Zeratul, who beamed that directly into a Heahan crystal, which we're now watching from third person. So I guess in the previous ones, it was a case of like, Jim was like, I learned this from this vision about Zeratul. It was really vivid. Stepman, can you use this to help with your research? And this is just like, well, I had a vision of a vision of a vision. <laughs> I mean, look, you give people bonus objectives for game mechanic reasons, but it's a bit wild that we get Protoss research. Sorry, Solendis. Rest in peace. From a second-hand vision of the Overmind, whose vision we're getting through Zeratul, through a crystal. Uh, video games. <laughs> also, rest in peace, Mohandar. You uh, went out like a hero. I love it when a plan comes together. There we go. Glorious end. Uh, obviously, usually it says, like, you know, victory or whatever, and it has a fairly upbeat ending theme. But yeah, this one is just uh, a straight up glorious end and has sad music. There we go. Uh, owned 327 units killed. Well, it, you'll have seen it as a counter at the start anyway. So yeah, that's it. We've wrapped up the Zeratul missions. We've seen what will happen if Jim Rayner doesn't intervene properly. With that, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please feel free to drop us a like. Other than that, I hope you've had a really good day and I'll hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.